hear me out and you will be better off because of it. So long as you take my words to heart, it's as simple as that. Such as anything. <clears throat> Don't let my constant griping or anything anybody else is, you know, throwing back at you, discourage you. The same applies to being challenged to sort something out, the pressure of being challenged on the spot. Just sit with the information and work with it. And if you work with it, it will reveal itself. That's how this works. But if you don't sit down and you don't do that, it's not going to. If you just keep reaching, you just keep reaching, <clears throat> hoping that you can just figure it out without working with it and trying to actually figure it out, you're not going to figure it out. This applies to everything and anything you could possibly fucking think of across the board. The first test question is going to help you hone your research skills, which are more important than ever before in the age of disinformation. You know, the tools of propaganda. Google is a great example of that. The second test question will help you appreciate how reality itself is structured, whether we're talking about you and I or the system at large. It's absolutely beautiful, and people are unaware of this. The third test question is going to teach you to how to appreciate what is hidden in plain sight, how to utilize tools that have been available to the general public as long as the general public has been the general public. It's the occult by definition. It's our masters laughing at us. And it's proof positive that people are not thinking for themselves. I'm handing you a tool within a tool to appreciate this. All you have to do is utilize it. It's as simple as that. Let's talk about these test questions. I'm going to try to help you guys. It's, it's really tough because there are... There are clues or uh, bones I could throw you, but it might just spell it out. And the point is to take the journey. And that's the trickiest part. All right. So first and foremost, <clears throat> this jazz. These are the bullet points. And if you haven't listened to the video and written down the bullet points, you haven't begun the journey. You got to do this. Now you guys can just take a screenshot. This is my superficial way of throwing you a bone, in other words. Because a lot of people probably didn't do this. If you're paying attention to how people function these days, function, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. It's less than encouraging, and it should trouble you as much as it troubles me, if you're thinking about it. <clears throat> these are the bullet points. And the other thing I need to stress is, specifically this test question, you need to go back and you need to watch the video, which I'll probably splice into this video, at least for YouTube, so you can still watch it. I'm going to put all three at the end, the ass end of whatever this becomes. Uh, the other two that I'm going to go on to talk about, you can reason out based on this video alone. But this one, you should go through what I say in the video. I have already thrown you guys bones in the video, as well as right here, if you simply use your brain. And what I mean by that, and I know a lot of people think that's probably just condescending, it's mean, etc., etc. Really, it's a form of encouragement, if you truly think about it. <laughs> um, what you're going to want to do is, first and foremost, simplify things. Keep it simple, heathens. And this applies to every single one of these test questions. There's only three in here. Um, in case you have never seen this and or you just aren't keeping up or you're brand new. Now, if you look at each one of these... Which one do you think you could pick apart the easiest? Which one would be the, the quickest route to figuring out what you need? And again, you'd probably have to watch that video. And this one, I'm looking for three movies with the same theme. The point to this test question is I'm looking for one word. One word that relates to all of these. And again, you probably want to watch the video because I'm not going to rattle all that off, I don't think. Um, there's a Ringo Starr movie. There's a, I probably should put scene in here, but there's a scene in The Matrix Reloaded. As bad as that movie may be, 
It's also our masters laughing at us and no one picked up on it. But then again, uh, these days, I mean, in general, people don't know what 9-11 symbolically represented. These people don't understand what the fuck's going on. There's a historical pun related to this. There's a lesser known biblical tale associated with this. And there's an age old allegory associated with this. In my humble opinion, these three are the most obscure. I would throw that shit out the window. I would come back to it once I think I have something to work with. And I'm not talking about just trying to pluck answers out of the fucking ether. I'm talking about buckling down and thinking for yourself. Critical thinking skills. Comparing and contrasting information. I would start with these two. Personally. You could reason it out based on this. Then you could double check what you sort out against this. And if these three still hold up, you can bounce it off of these and you can find it. Simple as that. One word. That's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> so the second test question is a 42 magic square test question. And again, you might want to watch the video, but you can still reason it out on here. And what I should do is this. The uppermost is not a magic square. It's shit. The lowermost is is the 42 magic square. What I'm looking for is somebody to answer why that is. I've given you a tool based on what I rattled off during the first test question that you can utilize to answer this test question. I'm going to move on for the sake of time. Take a screenshot if you want. This is terribly easy. And again, don't let me stifle you by saying things like that. Just sit down and work with the information, and you will figure it out. Now, this is the most recent test question. And the same difference applies. All you got to do is work with it. If you work with it, you think about it, you sit with it, you look at it, etc., etc., you will reason it out. And if you guys want to ask... I want you guys to actually think about these questions before you ask them, but if you would like to ask probing questions, I'm open to that to a degree. So long as people aren't just dashing off into left field and throwing fucking shit at me. <laughs> Which is what people tend to do. I need you to actually sit with this and think about it before you ask those questions. That's all I'm asking. You guys can figure these things out, and if you do... You will learn things that you are not supposed to know. You will gain tools that you're not supposed to utilize. And by extension, you will see other things that are hidden in front of you in plain sight. Because our masters sure shit are laughing at us. But as always, what the fuck do I know? Blah, 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 blah. And I should throw this in here too because I'm a poor wretch. But if you're poor like me, disregard it. H-N-A-I-E, this, and I have Cash App. If you guys ever want to help me out, I understand. Again, if you're a poor wretch like me, don't do that. Don't do that. And if you have done that, thank you. From the bottom of my crusty fucking heart, I mean that. It's a big fucking deal. It's a really big fucking deal. Um, and it's shitty asking for money online. And I just did that. Yeah. It's a slippery fucking slope. <laughs> All right. If you hung out, thanks for hanging out. It's a temporary system. You too can pull your head out of your ass. Most people aren't going to choose that adventure, which is why we've been subjugated since ancient Sumer. If not longer than that. Just the same, if you click on the little YouTube button, it will take you to YouTube, typically speaking. And you'll find this. This is one of many accounts that I moderate. This contains the test questions, which I've posted more than once. And one person saw it, and two people saw it, but really only one person saw it each time because one of those is me viewing the video to make sure that it works. Sometimes YouTube will strip my audio and other weird shit. Just the same, a lot of people can't figure stuff like this out, which should worry you. It should worry you. A lot of people out there aren't invested, which means they're not involved, which should worry you.
But as always, what the fuck do I know? Excuse me, do you have time to talk about breasts, loud music, and bright lights? As always, if I help you, you could help me have Cash App. However, next month, FedNow is being rolled out. Uh, yeah. Yes, I've got two chalkboards. Some of you already know that. Ooh. All right, this has to do with the 42 Magic Square. This is what you typically find. That's a shitty eight. Let's do another one. You got an 8, a 12, a 22. I'd like to do this in a minute, but it probably won't happen. You got a 15, 25, and a 2. And then you got a 19, you got a 5, and you got an 18. And this one's shit. Ignore that. Add these up, add these up, add these up. Like I said, this. What I want you to tell me is why this is shit, why it does not work. Down here, this is a, a 42 magic square, and it checks out. And these things are important, uh, despite what people will assume. If someone answers this question, I videoed a very lengthy video having to do with some of the quote-unquote urban archaeology. This is already over a minute. Fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, things I get up to, things I've refused to post to the internet for years. That checks out. This one's good. That one's bad. I'd like you to tell me why. Now, you can add up the diagonals in here and see something else. That's not the answer. That is not the answer I'm looking for. I'd like you to explain why this works out and this does not work out. You can also look up number file. <clears throat> you can look up the Parker magic square, which is not a magic square. Uh, number file just knocked out another video a couple days ago having to do with magic squares where they don't teach you what I'm asking somebody else to answer in this test question, naturally, because that's how number file functions. Uh, functions. They also rattle some stuff off in that video and then dress it up as a Parker such and such. Because, yeah, number file's not there to teach you something. It's there to promote sensational horse shit. But what the fuck do I know? This book is fairly old. I mentioned this before when I last videoed this jazz. That's the bargain bin magic square on the cover of a book that does have a lot of stuff in it. It's a wealth of knowledge. But that's not a magic square on the cover of the book. Food for thought. This is how our masters work. And or someone fucked up. That is not a 42 magic square. And that's what I would like you to mull over and answer. Some of you out there have to be mathematically inclined enough to be able to sort this out. And or you can be number dumb like me. All you got to do is... Use your goddamn brain and reason things out. <clears throat> Why is the top configuration not a magic square? Why is the bottom configuration a magic square? That denotes 42. That's the test question. Thanks for hanging out. All right, consider this a test question. It's easy as fuck. I am looking for an answer, and it's funny having to state that. And for shits and giggles, we're going to throw it into one of these. And this test question is twofold. So you'll have to use your head, you know, your brain. And here, I'll throw it out real quick so you know what we're working with. We're doing this. We're going to do this. And then we'll probably do this. And I want you to fill this in. Now, to fill this in, you're going to have to think about it. You're going to have to think about it. 
And most people, I mean, I don't think anybody's going to answer this. That's the worst part. And this is easy. You can do it. I'm no better. I'm no smarter. Blah, 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 blah. And it's fucking true. I mean, the answers to reality anybody could dig up, but people aren't digging is the problem. <clears throat> and if more of us were, we would be better off and things wouldn't be absolute shit and exponentially getting worse. Again, this is a test question, just in case you need to see it on paper. <laughs> test question. I am looking for an answer <laughs> to this test question. I want you to fill in the blanks. All right. If you hung out, thanks for hanging out. And yeah, as always, what the fuck do I know? Uh, imagine what I could teach you. <clears throat> what I can teach you are things that you are not supposed to know. Let me know if you figured this out on any of the social engineering platforms that I moderate. And thanks for hanging out. This has to do with the very nature of quote-unquote Earth. It's a test question. I'm looking for somebody to give me at least a one-word answer in the comments section. This is also the second time I'm recording this to see if it's any better than the first shitty delivery. <laughs> I'm going to give you a number of different topics. They're all interrelated. They're interconnected. They all touch on this one word that I'm looking for. You can give me any synonym having to do with this word in the comment section. That's all I'm looking for, and I may throw you bones if you do. Most likely I will. I may also ask for uh, a more private channel, so to speak, um, if you're willing, um, rather than leaving the answers on here, because you're the only person in most cases, if somebody does do this, uh, that would deserve to know what I'm getting at. <clears throat> All right, so I'm banking on you knowing some of this. Uh, it does relate to numbers, but this isn't uh, a number test question, so to speak. It has to do with uh, popular programming, media, content, things you've seen on the box and otherwise. So the first one that I know you guys have seen is The Matrix Reloaded, The Second Matrix. It's a scene in The Second Matrix, and that's what this jazz has to do with. Maybe you can figure out the word that I'm looking for. I know that's obtuse. Uh, there's a Ringo Starr movie having to do with this. It also has to do with a bad pun that you and I have been told has to do with history. And it's a joke. Because you and I are the punchline. We're not supposed to understand this. It's a big deal. It's also biblical. Um, it does have to do with <clears throat> some of the allegories that were that are lesser known and have been removed from the abridged bible um <clears throat> what's another example in the other video that i made i had another example what is it oh yeah and this one's fucking hilarious to me because you're not supposed to know this so there is a number that has to do with this jazz so in the year 2005 and you can do this with the programming if you figure out what certain things mean you can go back and you can watch the programming based on the calendar cycle associated with it. And our masters produce quote-unquote content, media, programming on the box and on the big screen related to it. And it's hilarious to me, but it works. And you can do this and see this for yourself. It's, it's wild. But in 2005, our masters shit out so many fucking movies associated with what I'm looking for. In terms of this one word in the comment section, it's not even funny. And some of you probably saw these. <clears throat> some are super duper low budget, full of lesser magic. Others have some big stars in them, but they still weren't Hollywood. They weren't uh, top of the food chain. Um, there's also another one that came out, but I don't think it was 2005, so I'm not going to... I mean, if you figure it out, that's great, but it, I don't think it came out in 2005. <clears throat> but there are at least three movies that came out in 2005 related to this one word that I'm looking for. Again, this is a test question. I'm looking for people who can think abstractly and answer things like this. Um, you can figure it out. It's 
not rocket science. It's, yeah, you can definitely figure this out. Again, The Matrix, there's a scene in there. There's a Ringo Starr movie. There's a bad pun, which I know that's really ambiguous. Um, and then in 2005, her masters shit out three movies. Definitely three movies related to this subject matter. Um, one way you could think of it is if you go back to, in your mind, use your you know mental landscape and go back to, I think it was 97 or 98 when Volcano came out with Tommy Lee Jones and they also shit out Dante's Peak with Pierce Brosnan. Our masters do this often. You get two different slices of the same garbage. Uh, it's crazy, but it also has to do with the Hegelian dialectic, blue versus red and conquer, versus, and, conquer and divide. But uh, <clears throat> you can think in terms of those two movies. Instead, you got three in 2005. Um, and to throw you another bone, there's a philosopher who also spoke about this because it's lesser magic. All of these are lesser magic, examples of lesser magic. It's our masters telling you something because it's a consent-based system, a consent-based system. And people blindly sat back, watched and digested this stuff and was like, okay, great. They didn't think about it because people aren't thinking for themselves. Take a stab at it. Maybe you can figure these things out. Don't just say, reptiles! Think about the things in the video before you react. In other words, don't just react. Think. Use your brain. That's the point of this exercise. Lastly, <laughs> I'll say, it's a test question. If some of you attempt this test question and are still stumped, and I do mean if some of you actually attempt it. What I'll do is I'll record another video explaining... How should I put it? Uh, it would be the logical route I would take to solve this question. I'll give you a hint in that form, in that format. <clears throat> step by step, how you might want to go about doing so. And if you can't do it based on that, Maybe I'll give you another hint. It's really not that hard, but it's like any question. It's going to be daunting at first, especially if you don't know what's what, because the unknown is scary, hence fear, and all that stuff. Just the same. I'm hoping somebody fucking tries to answer this question. <laughs>